What up, YouTube fam? How you been? How you been? How you been? Um, I'm gonna show you a video how I contour and bronze and highlight and stuff. Because honestly, lately I've been hearing a lot of people talk about how they don't know how or like where to place it or whatever. So I wanted to make this video for you to help you. And yeah, um, this is the look I did on my face. And I know it's been a while since I've seen you, which I've, uh, I, let's talk about it. If you don't even care about my, what I gotta say or anything, just fast forward this video to like five minutes ahead and I should be done talking. <laughs> so yeah. Um, first, look, I burnt myself. It freaking hurts so freaking bad. I burnt myself while curling my hair like three days ago. Yes, this is three days of not washing my hair it kind of looks like a like some dreads <laughs> so yeah um i just like the messy curly hair look to be honest you might think it looks horrible and like nappy hair or whatever but i don't care i don't care but yeah so i burned myself i got i started school so that's why i haven't had time to video because i started school i'm working like every single day and i have to go to work in like two hours from now so yeah i'm just trying to make time and uh yeah i've just been busy having school and i freaking lost my two cards that I get paid on I lost them so I had to freaking reorder them and then I lost my stupid car key and yeah it was just it's been a mess it's been a struggle these past couple of days but it's getting better so yeah I don't know I just wanted to update you on a little bit of stuff and yeah um today I'm wearing just a basic shirt I, I wear a lot of tank tops I really do I mean not tank tops crop tops <laughs> Yeah, um, I was gonna make a YouTube video about how I work out because, I mean, I kind of have a little freaking abs going on. I don't know, like, it just depends. And I got, like, some arm muscle. I, I was gonna make a YouTube video on how I work out, but I just don't have anybody to come with me to videotape me at the gym. So, I don't know. I gotta figure out later in life how to do that video. So, yeah, right now this video is just my contour bronzing by me. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I'm just gonna speed through my foundation routine and like what I'm gonna apply to my face because I already have a video of my foundation routine, and I'll link that down below if you want to see it. But for right now, I'm just going to fast forward everything. But I am going to talk to you real quick of everything I am using. So you do know. And it's going to go in order. But it's just going to be fast forward. The first thing I'll be using is the Angel Girl Primer. And then I'm going to go over uh, my acne scars or any imperfections with the Fit Me Concealer. And then I'll apply my, uh, my foundation, which is the Infallible by uh, L'Oreal. And then I'll apply concealer. And I'm going to be using the Better Skin Concealer and then the Fit Me Concealer together. So yeah. I never thought that you'd be the one to hold my heart. Come in peace. <laughs> okay, I usually use the NY. Uh, the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Yeah, I usually use that. But I recently got the, Ult the Ulta Contour Kit. And it looks like this. And I wanted to use it today. So we are going to use it today. Um, 
I'm gonna contour and high. I mean contour, highlight, and bronze. I don't know. That's just how I do my face. It could be the wrong way to do your makeup, but that's just how I do it because I don't like that sharp contour line. I like it to be like blended out nicely, looking more natural. So that's why I do the things I do. So let's just get started. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna use this to contour my face, and I'm gonna use the NYX to bronze my face. So I'm gonna take. You're gonna take a fluffy brush. It, it could be like a powder brush, a blush brush, any kind of brush. But mine looks like this, and I got it from uh, Walgreens or Walmart. I don't know. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just dip this twice in each one and then I'm gonna tap off the excess because I don't want too much you know it's better to start off just a little and add on than just put too much and it look horrible right then and there you know so just tap it off and then just apply it to your face mostly try to keep it like in this area but just like pretty much bronze your face you know give it some color you know If you're paler than me or darker than me, honestly, just go with what color goes with you. Like, don't mix all these colors in if you're extremely, like, on that, like, porcelain doll foundation. Like, just go with the lightest one. Okay? If it's not your shade, it's okay. It's just makeup. You can wash it off. It's that simple, you know? Just really... Figure out which color of bronzer or contour looks best on your skin. Because if you're using, if you're a pale and you're using like this darkest color right here to bronze, it's not going to look like, it's going to be harsh, I feel like. Because that darkness is too dark for your, like, your skin color. I don't know if that makes sense, but just like figure out your right, found, figure out your right bronzer color. Don't make it, don't have it too orange or too whatever. I don't know. That's just me. I might not just not, I might not even make sense. But basically just figure out what bronze, bronzy color looks best on you. So yeah, that's just what I did right now. And I'm going to apply some to my forehead. And for my forehead, like my temples or whatever, I'm just going to dip it in that one and this one. And not like rinse any off. Just like. Press it into right here on the temples. And then I'm going to dip it one, two, and just directly right on the temple and just press it onto there. After you've done that, I'm going to go into the Rimmel Natural Bronze. And it looks like this. Yeah, I put pan on it. I really like it. It has like a little bit of gold shimmer into it and I'm just going to use the same brush and because of the shimmer it's going to give you more of that natural glow so that's why I use this after bronzing the skin. I just press once in there and then I just apply it. It doesn't add much more color it just adds more like like shininess. It's kind of like a like a highlight your whole entire face like a highlight bronze <laughs> basically <clears throat> I almost forgot um let's go back into the next real quick uh you want to like apply some bronzer or contour or whatever right here at your uh your jawline because that's going to give it more dimension the reason for contouring or bronzing is to give color to the face and to give it dimension. To fix the things you don't like. It's like a 20 minute, 30 seconds kind of thing of surgery. <laughs> but with makeup. See, like, since I've added that bronzer, it looks darker right here with the shadow, you know? So it makes it look like my jawline is more like at a point. Like, very like, structured or whatever. <laughs> You could, I guess you could say. But after we've used these two things, I'm going to move on to like the contouring. This was just like the bronzing. 
bronze, 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 bronze. For contouring, I use the BH Cosmetics. Uh, it doesn't have a name. It just says one on it. So it looks like this. It's at a slant, which I like. And yeah, it just looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Bombshell Bronzer. And I'm just going to dip it in there once. And then I'm going to use the golden bronzer and dip it in there once. And then I'm going to tap off the excess. And then, okay. With this, since it goes out of slant, with this edge side right here, you're going to line it up. Like, if you don't know, like, where you're, like, I don't even know what these are called. Like, your cheekbone, I guess. You want to start, like, from, like... You see this ear part? You want to start like right there where your ear is like to begin to like form or whatever. So like right here. Yeah. So I'm going to place this edgy part right here. And I'm just going to place it right here where like the ear begins or whatever. And you're just going to go down. And you're going to bring it upwards because you don't want any darkness going downward because that's not going to help indent the face up if that makes sense I don't even know if I'm explaining this right <laughs> but you're just gonna do that and I bring it up like I blend it up see see how it kind of makes the shadow makes it look like it's more like curved in a little says and I'm gonna use the point to like where my ear like at the top of my ear pretty much and you're just gonna bring it down and then blend it up see you know how like my face looks like it kind of like it looks more sharp like it kind of like looks like it's going inward like it looks more square that's what contouring does to your face it basically makes your face look skinnier <sighs> Next to like make it make the contour look a little bit more sharp like I don't want like a harsh sharp line that some people do and that's okay if you do do that that's like that's the way you want to do your makeup but I like the more naturalness look so like just to clean it up underneath a little I'm going to use the NYX uh, finishing powder in translucent translucent and it looks like this. And I'm just going to shake some so it goes to the top. And then I'm going to open it. Woo! I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics brush. And this one is also slanted. And I'm just going to dip it into the powder. And it's going to look like that. You don't want too, too much. Not like a whole crap ton. But, you know, you just want some. And where this pointy part is on top. I'm gonna bring it like right here like probably like in the middle of the ear basically and you're just gonna bring it down to clean up the bottom once again you're gonna take the top highest part of the brush and you're gonna start it like in the middle of where your ear is and you're just gonna bring it down I would I would recommend using powder if you're like a beginner because using that cream contour you're gonna have to really learn and know how to like really goodly blend so that's why I use powder because I feel like it's so much easier to use I mean the cream does look more natural natural to your like skin but I don't know I, I just like the way powder is and I just feel like it's easier to work with um so that's pretty much like the contouring bronzing so this is just what it looks like you see how it gives me like more definition? Next, I'm going to contour my nose. And a lot of you not don't know that. But I, I like the way my nose look looks from the front. I do, I do. But when I come to the side, if you could see that, there's like a little bit of like a bump. And I don't like that. Like I wish it was just straight. I'm going to go back into the Ulta contouring kit. And I'm going to use this, the Bombshell Bronzer. And I'm going to use like a eyeshadow fluffy brush. It looks just like this. It's a fluffy brush. To be honest, I should probably use something more thinner, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to use this brush. It's like a fluffy brush, but it's much thinner than this brush that I was using. You see that? 
And it's like, I don't know, this brush is wide, but from the side it's thinner. So I'm going to use that instead of this fluffy brush. But usually I do use this fluffy brush, but I want to try it differently and see if it changes any different way. So I'm just going to dip into the bombshell. Tap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it to the side where it's at its skinny point, not like the width. I want it like this. And I'm going to start from the middle of my nose. And I'm just going to create a line. And you can bring it up to the brow if you'd like. So there's one shadow line. Once again, you're going to start from the middle of your nose and you're just going to create a line. And then what I like to do is I like to bring the extra right in the middle and just kind of toss it back. Next, we're going to highlight the face. Okay, so let me sum up the bronzing and contouring. You're going to want to contour the temples or bronze, contour bronze, whatever, the temples of your forehead and then up above your cheek bone or whatever and then your jawline for highlighting you want it to like gleam off the sides of your face and the like just the points of your face so like when I would turn you know when you turn you would see this so you're gonna want to highlight this but you're also gonna want to highlight up here as well because this comes as one when you highlight and you're gonna want to highlight the top of your like the tip of your nose I highlight the middle of my forehead just cuz and then I'll highlight like right here just because honestly everybody highlights different you find out where you would like to highlight and yeah I'm just gonna show you where I highlight so I'm gonna use the hard candy uh, trio and I'm gonna mix these two and I'm using a BH cosmetics brush and it's at a slant but when you turn it to the side it's like it like comes up kind of like a flower on its side but it looks like this and I'm just gonna mix all three of these colors I'm gonna go into these two first and then the highlight right here I'm gonna dip it in there and then I'm gonna turn the brush to its side and you're gonna want to highlight like I said the high points of your cheekbones and then I'm just gonna dip it into this and do it again because I want a real like intense highlight and then you're gonna want to put some like right here and I just press it right there so I know that I'm getting it directly right there you know so when I turn like I said you know I turn this way you don't really see no much because there's no highlight on this side but when I'm turning this way you'll see like where it's highlighted and it looks like like goddess -y kind of you know so yeah, again, I'm going to just dip it into these two and then really go into this one. And I'm just going to highlight right here. I'm going to grab some more, highlight some more, because I want it to be super intense. See it? And then I'll dip it in some and then just press it right here. And then I'll take some and I'll put it... I'll put it right in the center of my forehead and then I'll take some more and I'll highlight my nose and then I'll take some more and then I'll apply it to my chin right here and a little on my cupid's bow See, highlighting just gives you that dewiness, like, I don't know, just adds more to the whole face look. I do want a little bit more highlighter. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to go into the Ulta Contour Kit again, and I'm going to use this Radiant Highlighter they have, and I'm just going to dip it in there and just apply some to the high points of my cheeks. I'm not dipping in a lot, because I know I already got kind of a lot going on here. But that's pretty much it. That's that's how you contour, bronze, highlight where you should highlight or whatever, where you should bronze. And this is just what it looks like. I'm going to apply some mascara and a lip color and then I'll just be right back. Okay, well, this is the finished look. I just applied some mascara and some eyeshadow and some lipstick. 
But that's just how I contour and bronze, you know. I don't feel like I really knew how to say the right words to what I was saying to teach you how to bronze and contour. But I really hope that you got like the concept of like where to place everything, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe to me and go tell your friends about me because I'm freaking awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll just see you later. Um, bye.